Hello, beautiful people. It's your girl, Shakara Daye, and I am back with a message. So today is December 14th, 2022. It's the Wednesday, so you know we got to come with the wisdom on Wednesday. So that's what this video is about. A little wisdom, a little this, a little that. And um, we're just going to flow and grow. But mainly I'm making this video for the girlies out there um young middle age and old whatever to have a um period kit for your car so i'm gonna let you know what's in mine and get y'all some tips and tricks as well for that time of the month to make it more comfortable and to give you some you know some ideas that you might have never thought about or whatever like that so, um, yeah, we're going to get right into the, the video. So, I just got a little bag already prepped. And so, I'm going to take everything out and show you why I have it in there, what I have in there, and everything like that. So, this is my um, period kit for my car. So, this will be going in my car. And then I have one for my purse that will be on me. And then yeah so you know product junkie recovering i got it all car is comfort that's what i'm about just having it all at my fingertips and for those around me as well and so this video could help you if you are a teenager if you're a young girl and you need to you know have some tips and tricks to have on you or what to have in your bag when you're at school when you're at work all these good things so let's get started so first things first i want to start with this this trick so um i started doing this and i got this idea for myself um, cause other ideas that I'm going to share throughout this video, um, is from other people, but I thought it was a great idea. And so I'm going to share that later, but this is from me, my ideas, um, just be going all over the place. So this is an empty white pouch. It's empty. And so instead of throwing it away, I keep them because, um, it's, it's good for storage so when that time of the month come you know you gotta dispose of the things properly and everything like that so you get done and then you just regular throw it in the the trash the trash can so sometimes it can unravel sometimes you don't do it right and you you end up seeing stuff and it just be like you know you can look at your own waist, but other people don't want to look at that. Other people don't want to see that. So, excuse me, you know, it's just always running. And it just always happens when I caught on the camera. But anyway, I digress. Um, so, like I was saying, so sometimes, you know, when you at home, in the leisure of your own home the comfort of your own home i mean you can get lazy or you just don't be thinking about it you wrap it up put it in the garbage sometimes it can unravel it could just yeah so i thought of this like okay you know sometimes men get a little squeamish or whatever so if you get if you have a boyfriend and he's one of those where it's just like, I don't want to see that, babe. Cool. It's understandable. But let's normalize that a period in, in menstruation is regular. So please, fellas, if you're watching me or whatever, be understanding of your girlfriend in the time of the month. It, it might be uncomfortable for her to even be on it around you or she's got to grow to be comfortable on it like it's regular but it's still like a touchy subject sometimes so maybe it's just me I don't know like I've always just been taught to 
keep it to myself. You know, it's a private thing. No one should know you're on it. No one needs to know you're on it and all of that good stuff. But let's just normalize that women are going to have periods. It's just normal. But to lessen the uncomfortability of it, you can put this, you can put your waist in these you know you just can prop it up on the the garbage can and every time you go to the bathroom just wrap it up like regular but place it in this so no one gotta see it no one's gonna know no one's gonna know you know and that was just a little neat idea because i use wipes a lot so and and wipes are another tip like definitely um get you some wipes that you're using all the time whether you want one or two you know just keep it fresh um all the month long it don't have to be just when you want your period get into the habit of using using wipes um and what else um i was about to say yeah, so I go through wipes and then I just keep the bag. And then when my period come on, I just put the waist up in here. Then I don't have to see it. And it's discreet. That's the word, discreet. Yeah, there we go. So that's a good idea. So if you are using wipes, which I recommend that you use wipes every every day or whatever like that then you can put that in there when you're done um keep them and so that leads me to my next thing i went in target and picked this up today so um my one of my hygiene favorites is chloe yasmin on youtube as well so shout out to her for this idea so this is a doggy poop bag with or well, the dispenser with the bag it come with three um refills of the bags and um when i got home and i looked at it closer i was like oh this is funny it has um dogs and cats and and bones and hearts and and different decorative things on it but the idea was clutch so yeah i had to go and try it out i was like okay yes that is a good idea because it's like again when you're on your time of the month or whatever and you out and about at somebody else's house or in public and you may not want to leave your things in someone else's trash or in public or whatever you want to take it home and it's it's like unsanitary to just have a damn pad <laughs> a used pad in your pocket but you just absolutely do not want to leave your shit somewhere else this is the perfect idea so shout out to chloe asked me um she was like yeah i just thought about this and i'm gonna see how it works so this is this dispenser and the bags come with it so um you know you just Put your things in there, wrap it up, and then you can place it on your person or back in your purse until you get home. Because the times we live in, yeah, that was a great idea because people are weird and, and all of that. So sometimes you need not to leave your things that pertain to your personal waste at other people's house, okay? So you can take it with you and it won't smell because, you know, dog shit, it kind of like really reeks. It really smell. But if it's in this that's specifically designed for that and all of that, then you got to know that other stuff is it's just unmatched. Like it's, it's not going to smell and you can get it home and then throw it away. So I thought that was a great idea. So, yeah um definitely go and get that and it was only like seven dollars for the pouch 
and three refills of the bag. So, go ahead and get that. Try that out. Um, especially for the girlies that are in school. Like, um, if you just on the go on the run or at work and you just absolutely weird about that because that's what she said too she was like i am weird about leaving that type of stuff anywhere i want to take it back home with me so yeah <laughs> i was like yeah that's a good idea um so there's that tip to do and then i love me some um poopery this came in a three pack i already got the other one in the bag which i'm gonna show you um this came in a three pack so these are you know spread in the toilet before you go no smell also another tip would be to um place tissue all around like a thin layer of tissue before you go number two in the toilet spray that no smell these work really good actually so i like to take these when i travel in a hotel like i said you could deal with your own scents and all of that but it's just courtesy that nobody else should have to smell you you know so just boop, boop in the um toilet before you go place the tissue in the toilet so it's no streaks if you are at your boyfriend house and all that and again these things are natural but it's just for your own comfort or their comfort or whatever you want to call it then you can just have these little ticks trip trips yeah i need a trip tips and tricks for when you're on the go, um, out and about, or at home, at school, everywhere. These are perfect because they really work. Um, so, yeah, I got that. And then I don't have to take um, medicines anymore because I have been working on myself, changing things. And so the pain has been under control and i'm just so happy to announce that but pampering if you are still you know oh let me pop a pill because these cramps is out of control i definitely recommend that you get on a regimen of yoni steaming and um teas and herbals and holistic and and it'll definitely change your life for the better so if you are having problems with period um, period cramps and everything like that definitely change how you're eating holistic approach and then um herbs and and everything that works with your body um definitely link up with the herbalist and, and see what you can do like all that information can be linked down in the description box down below if you want to contact me and get your herbs i am more than grateful to help you and happy to help you so just let me know but if you haven't gotten to that point yet pampering is definitely good to have on you it works a lot it's very um very good this is maximum strength so when i did use it I, I i was i was um i was real liking these real good but haven't had to use that in like i'd say like i haven't used it since 2020 maybe or before like i haven't used meds in a long time so that is great and then another obvious, always stay up on your water. This is infused water. Look at the cup. Look at the cup. I love it. It's just immaculately amazing. Um, this is from Starbucks, but this is infused water. It is lime, key lime, and cucumber, which the lime is different from key lime and i don't know what it is about the lime but the lime rind will definitely get you it's strong i took it out just in time but it's still that rind type of taste a little bit so um 
I just tried to mix it up because I had a lime and key lime. So, yeah, I definitely recommend that you just either take off the rime or um, maybe stick to key lime and um, cucumber because those two together is just going to just be refreshing and it's just going to be just this real crisp taste to the water and it's really good and it helps with your skin and helps with digestion it helps with many different things like your skin gonna be glowing while you're drinking it so definitely stay up on your water intake as well that's very important for hydration and just making sure that your systems is moving and and um regular and all of that good stuff so stay up on that and then I am just so happy about this as well. These are not sponsored ads in this video, but when I like something, I just gotta give me credit. So it is what it is. So this is Aquapana and I have been wanting to be drinking stuff and using stuff out of glass and, and just moving away from plastic product because plastic is just, harmful and everything like that so i just love this because it's glass and it's spring water so it's naturally alkaline and it tastes good i am not a spring girl i don't like spring water certain brands i've just like they could keep it in the nature because i don't like it but i've been trying to find the right spring water because i know that it, that is the best but baby baby look <laughs> i be liking what i like and weaning off of stuff certain things i just been like look guys like please just cover me because i just do not like the taste of this water and when you a water drinker yes water tastes different than the other waters and so this is just a clean taste it just i can do this basically because other spring waters i'm like ow <laughs> i taste the motherfucking roots and the trees and that like ew i don't like it but this is it's, it's good and um I love that it's in glass and so it's just it's my luxury season like I'm moving towards my luxury season so I just feel luxurious while I'm drinking it and yeah so hopefully Jewel keep this in stock because when I seen it and I had to reread and read it because they've been had it but it's always been sparkling and I don't like sparkling water either because it's just like y'all can keep it, okay? Um, so I had to keep on reading like, okay, I don't see no sparkling nowhere on here, okay? Like this is just the spring water, like we can get this. All right, so I was happy about this. So hopefully they keep it in stock because I could do that. And I, I first tasted that when we was in um a restaurant so um definitely happy about that i like to get stuff out of the store instead of ordering online because i looked it up online and it was this other um brand that i was trying to get online in bulk that was in glass and it was natural spring water and it wasn't sparkling but it was always sold out so i'm like okay so to find it in the store, I was like happy about that. But anyway, that was just sad note um, for the water part. But always, that's definitely a tip to healthy, happy, whole body. Stay hydrated and stay hydrated with the best. All right. Um, what else before we get into the car kit? Um, I picked up some baby cloths. Now, baby cloths, this tip is for um, hygiene and everything like that. So, <clears throat> this is a baby cloth and it is more gentle, of course, because baby skins are very soft and gentle. So, it's 
it's soft and everything like that but these are good for your lady parts for your um your yoni and i recommend that you get and whatever towel like it don't matter i just like the baby towels because um your yoni part is delicate so you don't need that abrasive regular towel that you can use all over your body to have a you know partly exfoliating um touch to it but the the baby cloths it'll it'll gently clean and and get there and i like that it's white use white cloths all over your body because the dyes in these cloths wash off and that is not good so you want to have white because that means it's not dyed and everything like that and it's going to wash off in your lady parts and you're going to have problems and you're going to be wondering why it's because you're using colored towels and it's washing off into your lady parts and and all of that and it's not good for you so these are good for your lady parts and then any towel just make sure it's white but anyway um make sure you separate in when you're washing all right separate your whole body towel your yoni part towel and then your behind towel your butt these should be three different towels yes you have to be that extra because you're going to notice the difference and how you smell and everything because you're separating it all right so you're going to take your all over rag and have a whatever scent you want um i'm a sensitive skin girl so i'd be trying to find things that's more on the clean side and not you know um very fragrant fragranted oh child i'll be having i'll be having trouble with these words but you know what i mean not heavily scented um and just trying to find the different things that that's gonna work for my body and not have me breaking out and everything like that um i did just order some um panaxel i think that's what it's called um acne body wash so we're gonna see how that works for me because sometimes and it might be just certain things that i eat sometimes my skin breaks out on my chest a little bit on my back on my other arms and so i'm just like okay we gonna we gonna fix this and so i'll be looking at these different um channels where they recommend these different things and they say that they have sensitive skin as well so i'm like okay we can try it out that's that's what it's all about trial and error like what work for you may not work for me what work for me may not work for you but you can give it a chance and, and see or if you already use certain products where it's like okay yeah that has that ingredient in it and i think that it doesn't mix well with my skin so maybe you don't want to try that so i do that a lot too like with certain things like i think alloy just it just don't do well it, it had me red it had me broken out itching and everything so when i see alloy in certain um products i'll be like man i can't do it because i done already did the trial and error with certain things and it just it just be like nope that's the common thing and ingredient that had me up in here going through it so i just try to just stay away from those type of things but anyway so um yeah we just gonna try it out so with different products you might want to just stay on the milder side if you are a sensitive skin and like acne prone type of person like just stay on the milder side with the soap um so you're gonna do your whole body first and then 
however many times you do two three times rinse off and then you're gonna go to your lady parts or I'm trying to see like what work best like which one do you do last I do whole body rinse all of that do it again then lady parts and then backside last so then you you know get your other towel that's for specifically for your yoni part you get that different towel which recommend all white and then have a mild soap now for me i use CeraVe and when you are doing your routine with your yoni you want to be mindful that you are not putting soap inside the vagina canal that is self-cleaning so you don't need to help the girl okay she got it she can handle it it's already naturally cleaning that's what discharge is it's cleaning out and so she got it she don't need your help sis so don't stick your fingers up in there trying to help it out because that's going to knock it off. Especially if you put soap up there. Or just. It's just not. No. But if you must. If you just feel more confident. In your lady part. Then just do water. Swirl it around up there. With just water. Okay. But she don't need your help. Is is the overarching message of that. She don't need your help. At all. She going to do it. Alright. And if you must just do something, hydrate your body, vitamins, all of that. And I'm going to get into that later as well. This is longer than I thought it would be, but, you know, I said it is a, a tips and tricks. So, we, we just going to move right along and then we going to get to the bag, okay? But this is the Yoni part towel. Your, Yoni, your lady parts got its own towel. Every part of you it got its own its own position, okay? Um, so you get your mouth of soap and you clean real good around like the vulva, the inner lips, the outer lips, the crevices, and all of that good stuff. And rinse off and if you want to do it again, all of that good stuff. Now, when it comes to feminine hygiene soaps that's specifically for that, I do not recommend things that are going to irritate you even more. Like, if you try them out and it's just like, oh my goodness, like, it's irritating me. Like, I'm one of them girls. I cannot use Summer's Eve, Vagina Steel, none of those things because it's just wasn't ever agreeing with me so i don't use those type of things but if it's something that is mild and it, it help then your your yoni part is going to let you know well right that's what i'm saying so use that or you can use your hand when it comes to those type of things like the um yoni girl soaps just use your hand and spread it all of that but it's own special towel go get you right every time okay so that's the yoni part towel now for the um the the backside towel you want to have your own backside towel and whatever soap that you deem appropriate or you know that's gonna get you real right and tight with the back side now you want to give this some attention every part of you you should give attention like stay there for 10 to 20 seconds or longer just you know really being delicate and really getting into that them crevices because i'm on the thick side so you know you ain't doing it right if you ain't putting your your leg up 
on the side of the tub. That, let me just tell you that. All right. But it's okay. It's okay. This is a learning channel and we are not bashing. We are informing. We are letting you know that this is what is best and how you do it right. Okay. So you with, let's rewind a little bit because I did forget to add that in. So with your lady part towel, you got to put your leg up. On the side of that table. I mean, on the side of that tub. Don't be shy with yourself, okay? Don't be shy with yourself. Put your leg up. Hey, make it a dance. Some put your leg up and you get in there. Don't overdo it though. Because she delicate, okay? She real delicate. And you gonna, you don't want to find out the hard way that she that de delicate. You've been down there just scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing too hard. You will come back up and it's going to be some skin on your towel and you don't want that. So just, you know, helping, helping yourself would be to put your leg up on the tape, uh, on the side of the, the tub. That's helping you squat down a little bit and everything and get on up in there, you know, spread it a little bit, get in there. And that's really going to help eliminate any odors and and holistic approach as well because if you are still experiencing um odors or or a, a scent that you don't like after you shower then that means that it's internal and you got to work on it from the inside out so you got to take your vitamins maybe a probiotic maybe work on your gut what are you eating that is not helping your overall systems they all got to work together it's a system that's what a system mean that this system is working with this system to help this system so that's how it worked with yoni part two yo yoni part two so your gut is letting you know okay something's not right because i don't like this smell and everything like that and it's okay it's okay you, you you're gonna get it right so you have to and take water take your probiotics take your vitamins that are directly linked to helping your yoni part and all that good stuff and then everything is just gonna be pristine down there because you cleaning good and you clean in the inside you right you right all right so just be mindful of what you noticing you got to learn your body and know your body and that's the thing of it like when you know your body and you know what it work what it wants what work with it what don't work with it then that'll help you as well because some people you don't even need to use soap down there on your lady part because warm water and a little rub around you know get get in them and, and just using water and letting it run over it and all of that good stuff is good for you because you eating right and all of that good stuff and you watching what you eating and so when it's releasing from your pores it's all good because you're eating right. But sometimes you do need to hit a little with a little mild soap, get a little good, getting, getting in there. And that's okay too. Everybody's chemical makeup is going to be different. Even as simple as something with perfume. How my chemistry makeup with this certain type of perfume it's gonna make me smell like this, but it make you smell like that because we two different people. So it's okay. You just gotta find what work for you. But I definitely highly recommend that you get three different towels for when you're cleaning your body and one for your whole body and do your feet last. And then one for your yoni part and then one for your backside and white white do not have different colors because then that's just not gonna sit well with your young parts okay so that that's just a little lesson for those that may need it um and all of that good stuff um so yeah and then 
We're gonna move on. We got our bag here, and we are going to unpack it. Let's see what. Well, we are definitely gonna need some wipes. These are flushable wipes. Um, and now with me with the wipes, since these are not flushable, these are baby wipes in the um in the cucumber scent. And these are infused with vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil is very good for the lady parts as well. But um, these are not going to be flushable. So this bag trick is also good for that as well. Like if you at home or, I mean, well, when you at home, you can just put it in the garbage. Now, side note, I done been to Costa Rica before and... <laughs> Um, that was one of the first lessons we had to learn. As Americans, you know, we we flush tissue down and don't think about it, and it is what it is. There, you cannot flush nothing because their system is not strong enough to um, digest it, I guess. Whatever. So, we had to wipe in place in the toilet i mean in place in the the waste basket so for me i have a problem with it because i'm not digging my hand in no toilet to get the tissue out so one and done you only had to tell me once i bet i didn't have a problem in costa rica with dropping some tissue in the toilet not once so yeah um it's just a mind thing wipe place it in the toilet i mean place it in the waste basket i'm getting mixed up with my words now but with the action i ain't have a problem anyway so yeah you want to be mindful like we we not put in the baby wipes in the toilet um we're gonna throw them away and if you out and about put them in the bag and then throw them away but these are flushable i still don't be flushing them but anyway so yeah we're gonna get some wipes because you know you want to make sure that you're not sitting on blood all day and and that can create more odor and everything like that so we want to make sure that you're thoroughly cleaning yourself once you go to the bathroom every time so we're gonna have wipes in there for us then we got a mirror i'll put a mirror in here real cute like so if you like um in a car you know you know what to use for a mirror okay um and then we have a bag inside of the bag because i'm just you know a little extra like that but this is a plastic bag so this is good for having um your extra undies in there i definitely recommend that you get extra undies for your period kit extra panties inside a plastic bag or a bag because if you do happen to have to use the panties then you want to put your spoiled panties inside of this and then we have an extra towel so you know sometimes it, it get like that where he's just like you know what fuck it i'm gonna get in a whole ass shower like i just want to be clean clean so we gonna get back in the whole shower and you may not be at home you might be somewhere else you might be traveling wherever so this is good to have your extra pennies in and an extra towel in uh, maybe even a soap i gotta get an extra soap so that for them days where you know sometimes maybe you even want to take a whole bath i don't know but just have what you need baby okay so an extra towel and panties inside this and so when it's wet or when it's soiled you can put it back inside this and it's not mixing with your other clean and dry things so bag inside of bag mm-hmm yes ma'am and then we got since i was saying that i don't use um i don't use 
I don't have to use, let me correct myself. I don't have to use medications anymore. So I um, was like, okay, well, I need something for soothing or anything like that. So I got tea packets and they are chamomile and then lavender chamomile. Like, baby girl, this tea is so damn good. I love it. It's just immaculately amazing. But, um, Chamomile is good for soothing any um, upset stomach or just soothing muscle and sicknesses and everything like that. It's very good for um, cold and flu and all of that good stuff as well. And then lavender is definitely good for soothing and calming and, and all of that for a period of relief. So I got tea packets in mind, but if you are a girl that still use... Um, medications and um period um period uh what you call it um period pills period pain pills that's the word pain pills then definitely make sure that you have what you need but that's a good idea for like if you're going traveling and you just want to unwind during the night you can have you some um pain relief it work wonders herbs work wonders for real um and then we have a perfume roll-on thing um this is one of my favorite is juicy couture gold <sighs> i just love this scent and um this is more on the stronger side than the body mist so that's why i got it in here so you know freshen up all of that good stuff so some perfume then we have our little mini natural deodorant to freshen up on the go then the main ingredient of this period pack bag whatever we have our panty liners and i i do three so just make sure you have whatever number you're comfortable with if you want to have five, you want to have seven for other people, I don't know. But I do three. Um, so I got three panty liners and three pads. And these are all natural. No, you know, no other things mixed up in it. And it, that really has worked well as well with keeping down cramping and everything like that. When I switched over to natural... Um, sanitary napkins and everything like that it has definitely helped with cramping so that is the love brand and I definitely highly recommend um, now with the panty liners these are on the thin side so when I do use these I, I make sure that I am completely off of my period because baby what is these holding besides some discharge so um definitely want to make sure that you completely off and it ain't no whoopsie daisy it was still another day coming on and, and you, yeah you just messed up yourself but these are just good light and airy for them days where you just know you about to come on and you might be spotting or um after you come off all the way off so that's what those are good for um, and then these these are the extra long overnight ones I mean and yeah I just buy these regardless because I like that extra coverage of knowing that it's gonna cover in the front and the back so those are a good brand the love brand L brand or something like that um, and then I have the um, a bag, the bags up in here. Now I'm trying to decide. I think I'm gonna put this bag, um, the carrier case or whatever, in my purse and just clip it on to one of those clips in my bags, and then just have this in this kit for in the car because it came with three. So. It can go in here, and then I got the uh, uh, extra one for uh, another random bag or something like that. But yeah, so those are for 
disposing of the waste and all that good stuff that I explained earlier in the video. And we have a regular body mist. And this is coconut palm. This is hair and body mist. And I feel like this is just good to have in there just to freshen up on the lighter side like you know perfume is going to be real strong but if you just oh let me just freshen up or whatever yeah so have a lighter option i like options um and then we have individually wrapped wipes for the convenience if you just you know going to grab a pad and um a wipe and you're going on to the bathroom and that that's convenient instead of having this big ass thing but again normalizing that this is what we have to go through every month to make sure that we good all right so it don't matter what i look like i could i could bring the whole damn back yes let's normalize it okay but anyway so i have three of these wipes and i like dude wipes um i don't know why i just one of those things where it just catches my eye and i just like them they're individually individually wrapped which i like that um it's the mint chill um scent and it's mint eucalyptus and tea tree which tea tree is very good for um your yoni parts and your back area it's just unmatched where it's just going to um have you just smelling good and just it's just good for your yoni area skin and everything like that keeping it in order and um keeping away irritation and all of that good stuff so i really like that that is in there and they're plant-based and everything so on the go wipes and then we have wet ones which this is my favorite scent, Tropical Splash. And this is like just for um, killing germs and everything like that. So these are these are good for if you like out and about and you don't have no um, hand sanitizer or you just touch something and you want to wipe your hands off. There's no water to wash your hands. So those are good for that. Um, but if you can wash your hands, just wash your hands, you know, so, yeah. Um, then this is the third, um, potpourri that came in this pack. So, we have this in here for when you go number two. And then I have a random toothbrush in here, which, um, I gotta find natural travel size small toothpaste because yeah like why not have everything that you need all the time so that's what's in um my period case for my car then yeah i gotta put that in my car and all of that good stuff but um and then i also picked up these as well this is some um underarm deodorant wipes and it has no aluminum or alcohol in it so i definitely had to pick these up because i'm like okay cool because it's natural um the scent is um it's strong it kind of smells lemony it, sm it's, it smells good and i don't know where i'm gonna put these yet maybe i'll put them in my bag in my purse or whatever but yeah um that is my kit that i am putting together all that good stuff for on the go or for traveling or the just the essentials that you might need if you away from home or tips and tricks for when you are in the house like it don't always gotta be that you on the go, but it is definitely good when you are on the go. And who that is strong. I will not be working with lime again because <laughs> it's just don't I don't like it. Or at least it needs to come out earlier. I don't know, but 
it'd be a hit and miss sometimes when you are infusing water because baby look certain things it just don't mesh well sorry not sorry so yeah that's that little video that i just decided to do because yeah I don't know. We just flowing and growing. I be up in these stores getting stuff and I just be like, you know what? This is a good video for someone that need it and everything like that. But girl, where is you going? I just be asked about stuff that sometimes. Like where you going? I just want to know. Where you going? But it'll come in handy when it come in handy. And then you will wish, like, I am prepared. I'd rather have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. That is just the truth of the matter. You know? So there is that. With that, girl will chit chat and everything like that. I probably. So, yeah, this is going in my car, which I need to clean out, revamp. I got things coming on the way that I need to just, you know, get it together. Also, for your car. It's good to have like extra clothing, especially going into the winter. If you're in the place where winter is like, it could get Tetris and snowy and all of that good stuff. Um, it's good to have a car kit for that, where you have safety um, things. Um, my car kit has a little mini shovel, which, I love many things so I was like oh my goodness it's perfect and it comes in like a, a case with other things that you might need like jumper cables and everything like that so a car kit like that and then a car kit of clothes like you have some um, a bright colored shirt just in case you have to be out on the side of the road trying to fix your tire or something like that um, a bright colored shirt um some pants some a, a sweater and a blanket is definitely recommended as well in a in a bag that is um you know waterproof and everything like that so it's definitely good to have these kits everywhere like kit a uh, kit for your car um um kits in your house everything on your person or on the go you know but i ain't gonna hold y'all too long because i already hold, held y'all too long here we go with these hour long videos that i didn't expect like but it's a good chit chat it's very informative so i hope that you learned a lot or learned something new let me know as well if you are going to try this trick as well um and uh until next time make sure that you are comment commenting liking and subscribing to shakar and until next time peace